good morning guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here for today's video i thought it would be fun if we did a what i eat in a day video i thought it might be interesting because i am a college student so i make all my own meals but i'm also like not on a diet and i don't restrict myself from eating anything i just kind of eat whatever i want so i thought this might be interesting for you guys to see this video is also sponsored by New and Coffee, so huge shout out and thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. This is what my kitchen looks like, so welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> Anyways, the first thing I try to do in the morning is fill up my water bottle. I'm really bad about drinking water, so I'm trying to get better about it. You have to stay hydrated, of course. Okay, so this is New and Coffee, the sponsor of today's video. New and Coffee is the first specialty Vietnamese coffee company importing directly from Vietnam and roasting in Brooklyn, New York. They work directly with a fourth generation family owned organic farm in Vietnam. So all of their beans are sourced ethically and they even specialize in roasting Robusta beans. This is the Fiend filter. It's sustainable because it doesn't use any paper. It's just the metal and it's super easy to put together. So as you can see, I'm putting the almost late like looking piece of metal on top of the cup and then the metal cup goes on top of that. That's what you put the coffee grounds in. And then there's a weight that sits inside of that cup on top of the coffee beans to keep everything level and put pressure on the coffee beans. And there's a lid on top to keep the heat in. So yeah, that's super easy to use and it's super fun brewing the coffee like that. It's very similar to almost like a drip pour type of coffee. Coffee. and I've never made that myself so it was super fun putting this together and making my coffee like this Today I decided to make mine into an iced coffee, so I just added ice and poured the coffee sweetened condensed milk mixture on top of it and that was it. It was delicious. And I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about their company right now. Good morning, guys. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. As you guys already saw, I made some coffee. It was so fun making this, and I'm so excited to share New and Coffee with you guys. The cool thing about New and Coffee is that it is woman owned. So the owner, Sarah, is a first generation Vietnamese American woman, and she created this company because there's a big misconception about Vietnamese coffee in America. There's a lot of coffee shops that sell Vietnamese coffee and it's not actually Vietnamese beans or it's insanely sweet and doesn't actually represent what traditional Vietnamese coffee is like. So Sarah wanted to create a brand that really captures what Vietnamese coffee is really about and this is what she came up with and you guys it is amazing. New and Coffee also has a subscription service which is perfect for the coffee lovers who want their favorite coffees to be delivered straight to their door. You can customize your subscription and it starts at just $20 per shipment. They also gave me a coupon code to share with you guys. So if you use this code right here, you can get 10% off of your first order. I will leave all the links to their website, social media, all that good stuff in the description box down below. So definitely go and check that out. So yeah, New and Coffee is such an amazing company. I am so excited to be working with them. So yeah, definitely go check them out and go try out their coffee. Okay, so it's already 10 o'clock, which is a little late for me. Usually I get up at like 7 or 8, but I did sleep in a little bit today because I think I pulled a muscle in my neck and my neck has been hurting so bad the past couple of days. So I like barely got any sleep last night because no matter how I tried to sleep, my neck just hurts. So I slept in a little and I'm trying to take it kind of easy. So yeah, usually I do wake up a lot earlier than when I actually woke up today, but I'm just trying to take it a little easy today. So so it's time to make some breakfast. I'm getting a little hungry. So yeah, let's get to it. Lately, I've been loving roasted potatoes and eggs for breakfast, so that's what we're making today. I use russet potatoes, and there's honestly like not really a recipe for this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's super easy. You just peel the potatoes, cut them into half-inch little circle things. 
And then I put the slices into a bowl and wash them off with some cold water. This kind of helps them get crispier. And then I put some oil on it. I used olive oil, about like maybe two glugs of oil. I don't know, I don't measure stuff. And then I just put a ton of seasonings. I used salt, garlic powder, red pepper flakes, paprika, and parsley. And you just mix that all together. Make sure all the potatoes are coated. Beautiful, wonderful, delicious. And then I put them on a tray with aluminum foil. And then I put them in a single layer on the aluminum foil. Look at how amazing these look. So I put these in the oven at 425 for 15 minutes. And then later we're going to flip them and then do another 15 minutes. While my potatoes are cooking, I am going to make the thumbnail and upload the video that is going up today, which I honestly kind of forgot about. Usually I have my videos go up at like exactly 11, it's 10.53 and I totally forgot about it. So the video is completely done. That's all export and everything. I did that last night. I just needed to actually upload it. So we're gonna do that right now. Look at these beautiful potatoes, so yummy. So I just flip each one over and cook them for another 15 minutes. And while that's cooking, I am cooking up an egg. Usually I love my eggs over easy. I always eat over easy eggs, they're so good, but unfortunately this one broke. <laughs> so it ended up being like a fully cooked egg. That's okay though, we're still gonna eat it. We're not gonna waste it. Chick-fil-A sauce is amazing with these roasted potatoes. Seriously, so good, you guys. You have to try these potatoes. They're amazing. Okay, here's my beautiful breakfast. I am going to eat this while I finish uploading my video. I'm so sad that the yolk broke, but it's okay. It's all good. We are still going to eat this. It looks amazing. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay guys, I just uploaded it. Here's all the comments already. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. Here's my to-do list for the day. So it's like an hour-ish later. I just got ready for the day. I did full makeup and I curled my hair because we have sorority composites today, which is basically like a yearbook picture for the sorority. They're just called composites. So gotta look nice for that. So I'm actually like ready for the day. It's in about an hour. Since I kind of had a late breakfast, I decided to just have a smoothie for lunch because I was just a little bit hungry before class. So the smoothie I'm making has raspberries, strawberries, and a banana. I accidentally added too many raspberries, so I poured some back. But these are super inexpensive from Trader Joe's, so these are great for smoothies. And there's a banana. And I have really gotten into oat milk lately. Ever since Starbucks came out with their oat milk drink, I realized that oat milk is actually really good, especially in smoothies. It makes it super creamy. And I ended up adding some more strawberries because I originally put too much milk in it, so I wanted it a little bit thicker. So I just blended it up and it turned into a beautiful pink color, so pretty. So I just poured it into a mason jar and I added a mason jar lid. These are my favorite, they're so cute, they're bamboo and I added a metal straw. I sat outside with my roommate Elisa and we had a little study date. It was so nice out this day. And this is me sitting on my bed in my Zoom class. 
Hi guys, I just got out of class. It's 5.46 and I am starving. So I'm gonna go make some dinner. I am so excited for dinner. I'm having ravioli with tomato sauce and I don't know if I have anything else to make with it, but I'm just really excited for the ravioli. I love ravioli. So we're gonna go make that. Like I said, I decided to have ravioli for dinner. I love Trader Joe's ravioli so much. So I decided to make that. It's a super easy dinner. So I got the arugula and parmesan ravioli and the roasted garlic sauce. I also found these edamame pods. They were frozen from Trader Joe's, of course, <laughs> and I put soy sauce, garlic, and red pepper flakes on them, and they turned out really good, and I just boiled the ravioli. Super easy. And this is me deciding to put them in different bowls so it was more aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> and I just heated up the sauce in the microwave. I added some Parmesan cheese, some parsley to make it look a little cuter. So yeah, super quick and easy, a very typical meal for me. Okay, here's my beautiful dinner. Kind of an odd combination. And I've never made these before, but I always see like soy sauce, garlic glazed edamame. So I decided to try it out. I love edamame, it's so good. So yeah, here's the meal for today. It's pretty good. It's definitely not my favorite flavor, but it's still pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, this is what Elisa <laughs> has for dinner. Go Hi, ahead. Jimmy John's. What kind? It's called the Pepe. But no mm. mayo. I don't like mayo. And some chips, you know. Love that. <laughs> And for a late night snack, I decided to have some Ben and Jerry's. I had the strawberry cheesecake flavor. It was really, really good. Okay, so it is nine o'clock and I am eating my ice cream. This is the first time I've had strawberry cheesecake from Ben and Jerry's. It's actually so good. The commercials are on right now, but I'm also watching The Office and I'm gonna start editing today's video, the one that you're watching right now actually. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's kinda late, so I probably won't eat anything else other than the ice cream, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge shout out and thank you again to new and coffee for sponsoring today's video i absolutely love the coffee don't forget to check them out all the links will be down below including my coupon code so definitely go take advantage of that but yeah that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you guys soon bye, bye.